Good morning, ma'am. Today we are going to explain about the C++ presentation. And these are all our, our group members. We are explaining about the hospital management software simulation program, which is the usage of implementation of hospital management system. This is a small introduction about this program, what we are doing. The software is the, for the automation of tiny hospital management. It can be used in various uh, types in a hospital, clinic or dispensary for maintaining patient details and its results. To computerize all details, the project has all the information regarding in patient details. And we can use this one in many places. The project hospital management system is computerizing its working in a hospital. The software takes care of the requirements of an average hospital and a capable to provide easy and effective storage information. Come up to the hospital. Now we will see the program on. Here you use using namespace std. This is used to include all the files used in the program. And here we have declared a class called class as R and then in the public access, the private access space where we declare the structure, three structures, one as struct R plus, one as struct R plus and another one as uh, uh, struct patient info and another one uh, we have declared here. Here uh, we have declared the structure address and structure age and uh, another one as structure pa uh, patient info. In the structure address here we, we included all these uh, details, house, street, city, state and country. In the age we have declared here as day, month and year. And in the patient info we have declared uh, his uh, name in character and then address uh, to this AD1 and age to A1. Here we also declared a two functions as enter patient info and also to show the patient details and in the public access specifier we have declared all these uh, functions as software details tasks and here again we declare two classes as uh, class date and the class date of birth. In the class date we have declared date, month and year and two functions as enter date and show date. In the date of birth we had asked here we asked for date month year and by calculating uh, for calculating here we use this one uh, in function as remainder and in the public access space where we declared these two functions y enter data and show data and here we are initializing i value to zero and this all these are for functions are for calculating our program and then here uh, this structure function this structure function is assigned to a character as a1 and the for date as d1 and date of birth as and date of birth as date of birth 1 and the main function will be explained by manage. And here uh, and we are coming to the main for output. In the output we have to display that the hospital management software as the heading and here a1 task is uh, entered to, to specify uh, to uh, so specify the function as uh, scope reser in the scope resolution, and here we have given some options uh, in menu like please select a task to do means that these are the options four options. Uh, first one is uh, about uh, patient information, and uh, second one is the details of uh, already existing patient, and third one is about the program, and fourth is nothing but default exit the program. And now here. We should ask, uh, we should prompt the user that enter your task serial means that is nothing but 1, 2. Here in this program, we have used switch case uh, because as this is choice based, we have given options uh, like uh, four options in menu. So, uh, we, uh, in the four options, we have given that uh, enter the means uh, new uh, uh, enter patient details, uh, existing patient details, and uh, so on. And here after that, uh, means uh, it will show us thank you for trying this program and all of this. And now if we give any wrong option, it will tell that invalid uh, task serial. After completing our program, we can press any uh, key to terminate the program. And afterwards, to enter the patient details, uh, we have to 
give uh, patient details like uh, his name, uh, age, date of birth, sex, etc. And after entering that, we, uh, registration number is also required. And if we give anything wrong, and it will show that uh, invalid uh, input uh, for the uh, patient. And uh, address also mandatory as uh, in uh, means they are admitting in hospital. And again, street, city, state, country also required for that. And uh, marital status is nothing but they are married or not married. For married, uh, press 1 and uh, not married, press 2. And if you press any other than that, uh, it will display as invalid. And the uh, group is also mandatory for the patient before admitting to <coughs> hospital like uh, A positive and so on. And uh, other than that, if we give any options, that means any blood group, uh, it will display as invalid blood group. And now, uh, if you want to enter uh, information of other patient, we can press yes, otherwise we can press no. In other program, we will display it. There are some user, we are waiting the data for the user. Um, we are taking some of the valid dates uh, like if year is 0 and year is greater than uh, 10,000, it won't exist because it will show then it will show it is invalid date in the, those cases. And if, uh, if the date is between 0 and uh, 10,000, then only it will show valid. And again, uh, uh, just for 4 months. If month is less than zero and greater than or equal greater than four, then only then uh, less than or equal zero and greater than four, it is invalid. And if less than zero and greater greater than uh, zero and less than four, then it will take the input of a month. <coughs> From using switch case, uh, we are taking all the cases of the data. The of the patient. Yeah, for the data also. If we enter beyond 31, then it won't take, and if we enter less than 1, uh, then it won't take. Those are invalid dates. Here, here the using switch case, I uh, have declared all this. Uh, if date is less than 0 and greater than 29 a month, it won't take. And uh, less than 0 and greater than 28, same as like that. Here, uh, this function is about the date of joining of the patient. First, First of all, I need to uh, I need the current data. Here, here are the joining of the patient. Here also some of the valid and invalid cases will be there. If here is less than or equal to zero or greater than or equal to 1020, uh, 10,000, then it is invalid date. Like that, we are declaring uh, from dual cases and dual cases. For months, uh, we have declared if month is less than or equal to zero and greater than 12, it is invalid. Same as above as data part. In switch case, we are getting data of the uh, get, uh, get, getting data of the user, and we are showing that it is invalid or not by using the above conditions, as I have explained. Uh, this function is about uh, getting the data for which user you want to access. Here, if you type the uh, any uh, name of the patient like that, uh, you will get the uh, details of the patient and date of birth. Uh, you can access by date of birth like that also. From here, uh, my friend, we will explain. In this in this void function, we enter the we will print the show, patient details. Here we uh, here in output we will enter the registration number. By entering the registration number, the following will be displayed uh, like male, sex, here male, female, blood group, etc. Here, here are the software details. Over to other. To print the uh, after we are printing the software details. Uh, the developer to attack uh, Telugu warriors and the programming language we are using is C. The main users of the hospital that are today, um, the main uh, it is to reduce the work and uh, save the um, uh, time also. And today, people are using the mostly they are using the computer as the software and it is reducing the time and the work. Okay.
So here we have seen this program and let's compare and see whether it's working correctly or not. So first of all it is asking to enter a year and month date. So once this everything entered, hello it's 2nd November 2016 and user will be asked to end what task you want to do. So uh, there are four tasks like enter new patient information, view the details of the existing patient, view details about the program and exit from the program. So generally we will go first of all we will go with step 1. So enter the information of the patient. So enter the name. So I am entering that. And sex. And then here I am going to enter the address. So row house number 1 to the street. Um, so I am entering in some other street. So city and state Tamil Nadu country India so once the address is completed the user will, uh, it is asking to enter the date of birth so year is 28 and month 16 so invalid input for month again enter for month so 06 so date is or uh, 12 so marital status Ma one is married one for married and two for non married so if I go with uh, one and then here yeah, blood group, blood group is must uh, for as it is hospital management. So here uh, at, uh, my blood group is O positive so I will go with the 7 and then if you want if you want to enter the another patient details then we have to press Y otherwise we can go with the N. So I don't want to enter another details so I will go with the N and then user will be asked to enter the if you again this four task will be shown to you and then we can select whatever we want so here I am selecting this second task view details of the existing patient so enter the registration number so registration number I will go with 1 so whatever I have given those values is printed here so name, the professor, sex, male, blood group, date of birth and nine, nine, uh, everything has been printed here so if we want to press why otherwise I can will go with the N. So uh, in order to check the details of the program, I'll go with this. The details are printed here and then once I press 4, the program will be exited and uh, return statement will be called. So the mainly we going to know how to use this class uh, structure, okay, arrays, structures and different concepts in C++ by doing this mini project. So we are unable due to for time limitation we are unable to explain this program clearly and then we can explain you clearly when we meet you in uh, your uh, cabin so thank you